welcome to the world of the X-Men, where we celebrate the extraordinary. We are bold. The one thing people don't know is that I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Unapologetic. It's about purpose. There's got to be impact somehow. And love to have fun. I try to be romantic <laughs> now. This is the Phantom Extraordinaire. This week, we're hanging out with two extraordinary music icons, Nameless and Wahoo, also known as the Madengas. In our first segment, we've tasked them to answer all the questions in the Xbox. Can you remember what I was wearing when we first met? I. You never know what you'll find in there. Let's do this thing, babe. Let's do this thing. Let's yeah. do this thing. All right, thing. Wahoo. Let's get this show on the road. Wahoo. Yeah? What aspects do you miss about being single? Eh? Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> what do you uh... You have no anyway. water, you have to deal with this without What do support. I miss about being single? Yes. I miss being able to be spontaneous. Oh. <laughs> you can't be spontaneous with me. I cannot. Oh, for real? I can't. The guys come and say, Vasha, wake up. I can't. can't no. Okay. I have to plan what are the okay. kids going to watch. Nini, nini, nini. Husband, many Ole. things. So everything now has to be planned. Okay. Have to plan. I can't just wake up and go. Zoya. His name is Zoya. That's what I need to do. You need a small one. I just could catch. It's not catch. So. Okay. Hey, Bilu, my angle is swally. This one. Onunaje. Ah, this one. I think you know. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope. Can you remember what I was wearing when we first met? Aye. <laughs> Yellow, yellow, yellow jacket. Yellow jacket. Yeah, the famous yellow jacket. I think you wore it in all your videos. Yes, it was the outfit. In all your it, was, it was the one. <laughs> <laughs> it was so it the was yellow, yellow jacket. shiny jacket. Yes. And in my head, and I was the like, in my and the shades. In my head, <laughs> like straight up, I was like, this chick is on another level. There, like, you would come dressed, you'd brought. Of course, you knew you were coming for a show. Yeah. But me, I thought this is just how you are. I mean, I can't get to even so I. It's the only jacket. It was just jacket. because of the show, by the way. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Sinanga sense of. Okonayo, but I'm just realizing it stayed in me. Like it stayed in me. Like I've just met after I'm, we met that day. I, it stayed in me. Like I just met a chick who's on another level, swag wise, vibe wise, and all that. Yeah. Who's styling you, Ah, babe. Bona wezi kuacha tu ona high note. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, by the way, straight up, man. Wahoo. Mm -hmm. Where were you when you first heard your song on radio? So, first of all, the song was. Peter Dera had gone to do an interview. And then, it... and then he said, This is also my artist. Then they played the song with Bob Kyoko, was on radio on Nation. Mm. I was in my bedroom. Wow. Well, I was in my brother's bedroom. Yeah. That was in <laughs> And Paki. we were all in Paki and we were all gathered around the radio. Oh, so you knew it was going to play? Yes, and my mom was at the door over there. She was Are like, you yes, my daughter Are you serious? on the radio. Wow. Yes. And my bro was there and everyone, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe yeah. it's me on the radio. So I can, yeah, it was in my father's house. Yeah. Jenga Karume, flat number L6 in my brother's bedroom. Yes. Nice. Do you remember what your parents were playing when you were growing up? Like what music? It, it was, my mom liked country, so I know it was like... I think country Jimmy, music was just like a cool thing to like. I know, right? Yeah. It was a pop culture. Of yeah. Time. yeah. So Jimmy Reeves, Dolly Parton, Ab, Abba to some level. Those are the kind of vibes. At least from my mom, I remember my dad, I'm like, what was he listening to? But that was kind of like the music that, yeah. And that's funny, now that you've asked me that, because mm -hmm. I think it kind of like influenced my storytelling. You know, country music is country very, music is is very storytelling. storytelling. Yeah. So I feel like that. Everyone considers him the coward of the county. county. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. You see how some things influence without you knowing? Yes. Lela who? Mm -hmm. What three words best describe your journey? Live, learn, laugh. Mm. Live, 
now. Mm. Enjoy the now. Mm. Learn because there's always an opportunity to learn something mm. around you. Mm. Every day you can learn something and laugh. Mm. Be easy on yourself. Mm. Enjoy the moments. Wow. Yeah. I agree with you. I feel like that's actually that's how you are. I feel you're more passionate. I sometimes feel you're more passionate than me. I'm like, mm. I'm like you're just in your which is a good thing. I, yeah. I get that energy from you. There's some parts I feel I like need your energy. So that just being the moment and just enjoying the moment, you're stronger than me on that. Yeah. Sometimes may live in tomorrow. I know. Yeah. yeah. So it's I you now. I feel like that's me, yeah. What's your favorite lyric from a Kenyan song? That's interesting. My it's favorite. difficult to I say, know. though. I mean, I'll tell you mine for now. It's the, you, I, I think it just goes with whatever you in a change. In a change, you can, hey, Friday. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> as shallow as it is, I'm like, Friday. Friday. Oh, la, 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 la. Yeah, man, it's so, wow. So I would say, Twendele, Ama to Sendele mm -hmm. is, was such a good catchphrase. Yeah. Like, it's like, I'm going to sing and sing and sing and sing and sing. Twenty lemma to say the So I, I use it in my shows. All the time. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, sorry, clap. So I'm going to clap to your lyrics. Yeah. So I feel it's a very nice crowd response yeah. kind of song. So, Ahu. Uh -huh. Where? Uh. How, <laughs> how do you want to be remembered? Oh, wow. How do I want to be remembered? Uh -huh. I want to be remembered for, for doing my purpose. My purpose is definitely linked to my music and my creativity. And I think just by inspiring other people to, to live their purpose by me living mine, I think for me that's such a big deal. So I want to be remembered for that, mm. for, for trying, for doing my best, even when people um, said stuff can be done. I remember when we were starting music, mm, guys, a lot mm. of people were saying, oh no, yeah. have your head in the cloud, it's never gonna it's work. Not, yeah. So I want to be remembered for that, for living my purpose, living my dreams, and mm. really just showing other people that that they can live theirs if they just try. Do you feel like you speak for women, I girl, do. child? I Gaon do. Gaon Chan has got to prosper. I, I see on Gaon Chan's are always Gaon defending you prosper. every time. I'm like, nee, 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 just Listen, relax. Listen, watch a kukaj. Because sometimes I feel like guys are not objective. <laughs> but like, as long as this is our girl, we are supporting her. What is your problem? Uh, let girls support each other. Okay. Women must support each other all the time. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, I do represent women and girls. That's something that's really big for me as mm -hmm. well. Like, mm -hmm. like just... I guess because also I'm a mother of girls and I'm a woman and I know the challenges of trying to live your dreams mm. as a woman in this society. Mm. So I feel like that's a space I talk into so organically. Mm. I feel like, yeah. even, if I'll be honest, I feel like even the, like when you started your career, like you were like girl power. All the way. Yeah. City shaky. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> now I'm like, hey. Guys are like, it's yeah, not, yeah. It's so the waste the lie. Yes. There, yeah, so I feel like, yeah, that's cool, I think. So is it my turn? So you place it there? Yeah. Okay. Yes, babe. Mm -hmm. Mr. Madenge. Mm -hmm. is, that, is it written Mr. Madenge? It's written nameless. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's also in Guinea now, guys. What do you feel is the most romantic oh, thing romantic <laughs> you've ever done? You've ever done? For me. Okay. What is the most romantic thing? I've done a couple of romantic things. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh -huh. I've crossed the most... very dangerous places. Yeah. Which was The Chiroma Bridge. The Chiroma Bridge, <laughs> I could have died coming to check on you <laughs> with flowers and. Uh, and um, ah, please. <laughs> I mean, the first, the, first, the first years were kind of like, uh, I was, was it romantic driven? Like the things I would do, I would just, just be like... Was it romantic driven or was it... For me, it was romantic driven because... It just like, felt like you needed to do romantic things. Yeah, but I, I, was, I wasn't looking at them as romantic, but I was just enjoying doing them, actually. Like, I would be like in the studio and then I'm like, I draw something and then I just, you know, write something of what I'm feeling. And then I'm like, I want to go now and see her. And then I go by because I knew like uh, Black Forest cake. <laughs> I don't know, I would, get, I would get flowers at what time and come through. 
um, at a weird hour to see you. I still have one of those cards. I think I have two of them oh, that yeah? you did. Yeah, from over 20 years ago. Yeah. Still have yeah, so I, I mean, I feel like that just general, especially the first year, let I mean, give me some kind. But babe, what happened year. as we went along the journey of life? What happened? What happened? So but I may slow down. Oh, may slow down. But they, the, the, the last time you were complaining that I didn't go on my knee to propose. You and did I never, not. I never realized that it was like a big Huge issue. Huge deal. That There's I have still to be on of, one knee. It's such an amazing gesture. And I don't even understand. It's like, like just, we, you know, let's just say the most romantic is yet to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just big plans. I'm going to put it on for your fresh outfit. I'm representing the boy child. I see. There are romantic men in this, Nene. Yeah. Please don't. Okay, Wahoo. Well, what's one thing you are proud of off stage? Off stage is mm. is is. Would I? Can I say my family? That's the one ball that I can't drop. Like the music, if it's if it's a choice of balls to drop, I'm like mm. not the family. Yeah. This one, yeah. we have to figure it out. We have mm. to raise kids that are balanced, mm. that are level-headed, that mm. will live their own dreams. Mm. Yeah. So Monsky, tell me about a goal or a personal dream that you've never shared with me. I would would love like to go on like a wild cruise together. With you, like, <laughs> I feel like you've just made no, it like up. No, like for real. <laughs> I've not just made it up. Let me tell you something now. Like you get to get <laughs> no, even you'd be shocked me. because it's been in my heart. <laughs> Straight up, That's I've so just funny. realized it's not a lie. I've just realized I've never shared with you if you don't believe it. Uh, I've always. I feel like I've said it so much that you think it's your idea. No, <laughs> you've been saying it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, all I'll say. <laughs> Is it's also my dream okay. that one day, I'm like glad. when we've retired from, we just take like maybe like five six months and just and go just around the go world. Around the world. I've said it one million goal. times, but I'm glad that it's here. I'm glad that you're sharing. But you've not said it in the last five years. I'm not felt okay. it from you. Okay. Five years. So that's why I think it's coming from. I put you the next. Mm -hmm. Wahoo. Mm -hmm. Which musician has? had the biggest influence in your work? For me, yes. honestly, Angelique Kijo. Angelique. I knew I wanted to sing, yeah. but I couldn't find a local role model. Yeah, to be able to say, this to, is what I want to This is to what follow. I want to be like. So when I saw Angelique all the way from, you know, West Africa, and she was doing her thing, you mm. know, and she's, you know, I got her. Like, I'll never me. forget. I'm like, oh my God. She was blowing up in Africa, in Europe, because she was French speaking, I said, man, if this mama can make it, so can I. Yeah, so yeah. I really needed to be inspired. And I'm her fan to date because she's still doing her thing. I know, I know. You know, yeah. so I think she won a Grammy recently. She imagine. Yeah. So it's a yeah. good thing because it feels it tells you, but look on a chance. Eh, but look eh, on a chance. Eh, she eh, Grammy. Eh, you know what I'm she still inspires yeah, me to date. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. I thought that. Oh, that's you now. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. When do you feel yeah. the most insecure? Okay, I'll be honest. You know me when we started dating, I was pretty insecure. Yeah. I don't trust any of you guys. <laughs> I'm like, why are you smiling with my cheek, man? Why, why are you like I was a problem? Like, yeah, that, that time I remember. I feel like I've grown. You have grown. I've it's grown. been 20 plus years. Yeah, so better I'm a bit have more grown. <laughs> secure with life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I'll be honest, there are times I'm like, I wonder about the future and all that. That that level of just hmm. feeling a bit insecure sometimes. But not, not with us. Yeah, I feel with, like, I, yeah, you mean with life, like what's going to yeah, happen? Yeah, yeah. But with us, you, you feel? I feel that we have we've come a long way. We've come way. a long way. Yeah. So there's an there's a underlying untuangu. Uh, you get? Yeah. So, man, that was nice. Wasn't it, it, though? Was it was a, nice. Nameless and Wahoo, you guys are gold. Let's spice things up a little with the taste maker's verdict. You know the rules, right? Simple rules. Mm -hmm. Pick, I say a word, you give a rating. Okay. Simple. Sour. I start or you start? Whichever. Go. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, good Jesus. DJ Afro. DJ 
DJ Afro tutamchezea ngapi wo DJ Afro tumemsikia sikia DJ Afro <laughs> Kwa tunamtazampatia ngapi nitampatia ka 8 hivi. Okay. Yeah, nadhani whoever is is pushed his brand. Okay. Trio Mio. Trio Mio. This is an extremely talented guy. Out of 10? 9. Nampatia 9 straight up. Mm. Short hair. Ai. Tena wala tena. Tena tena. Eh? Cobra Squad. Do you know what Cobra Squad is? <laughs> <laughs> Cobra Squad. Is it the movie by Alfred Mutua? You tell me. Give me a rating. <laughs> it's a movie by Alfred Mutua. Did you Mutua. watch it and what did you rate it? Okay. I watched it. There was a helicopter somewhere flying people. Blood. Okay, blood. <laughs> What's your ratings? I'll give it a, a, a six. Six. Umempatia Alfred Sita. Wait, the layer. Just okay. to remember. Okay, beba. Safari Rally. Yo, Safari Rally, the why I'll give it a, a nine is because when I was growing up, I was I was going to be a rally a rally driver. Okay. Yeah. I said, <laughs> me, I'm going to be a rally driver. I loved them. There's a guy called Vic Preston Jr. Yeah. And I just be like, I want to be like this guy because he used to fly. So okay. nine. Nine. Alright. Yeah. Dreadlocks. 10 out of 10 baby. Ted. Jenga bizuri. 10 out of 10. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, okay, keeps telling me don't you dare cut. Don't you dare dogs. agree with her. Like, you okay. cannot cut the so dreadlocks. You. Okay. Isa. Isa. 10 out of 10. 20 out of 10. Out of 10. Uh. Before we wrap up, we challenged our favorite couple to take the ultimate selfie. But the selfie must feature an item that means something to them. All right, nameless, what you got? Yeah. Me, I'm using this prop. Why you have you why? picked why have you picked the guitar? Well, it's because honestly, I think it just looks cool. Because the baby is swag. Yeah, it just looks good. Uh, And we want to take pictures that kind of like represent what you're about in vibe. So, wahoo. I love this mic. Why? It's it it's fast it looks cute as well. Mm. And same thing, it represents what I do, what I love to do. Uh what I've loved to do for a really long time so yeah that's my prop It's almost time to say Kwaheri but first a few photos to capture the memories with a brand new Phantom X and we're taking these photos in the dark Yeah it's dark I know right but it just brings light from the view yeah Look can you get confidence <laughs> Okay sorry I need to pause Sibasi uchague pause Yeah, Please, that's really nice. I love it. This is so cool. Next week on the Phantom Extraordinaire, we're hanging out with actor turned director Nick Mutuma and seasoned media personality Grace Msalame. Are you ready for these questions? What is the first thing you'll say to your ex when you meet him? <laughs> What's your take on side chicks? Wow. Okay, rate I'm a piano. Is that a song? It's a song? Oh, that's a dance. Wow. What? Ta-da. <laughs> Catch the Phantom Extraordinaire Sunday at 6 p.m. brought to you by Techno.